Today I want to talk to you guys about this body cam. It's the A07 and the company did send me this product for review. But they want me to show you what it is and how it works. This thing is pretty cool. Let's take a closer look. Here's what you're going to get with the package. You do get the camera itself. I'm going to show you more details about that in just a second. Um, I do have the large clip on this. It comes with two different size clips. This is the large one and this is the small one. So depending on how you want to attach it, you get two different clips for it. You're going to get a charger for it. You get the, the actual brick part of it and this one here is the USB BC cable to charge the unit up and they're also going to get another clip this actually goes around the top here and can hang onto you know a pocket or a collar or something like that uh, like a little badge kind of thing and of course you get a manual for it as well Okay, taking a closer look at the unit itself, here at the front, you've got the camera in the middle. You have two little lights. I'll show you what those do in just a minute. And you have a couple buttons. There's a button there, 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 some more lights over here. Again, I'll show you during the operations what those mean. Uh, that's your little microphone there. On this side, this is where you have your SD card to put in there. Now, you do need your own SD card. It doesn't come with one. It's a micro SD card and this little rubber thing just pops right back in there to make it kind of water resistant and on this side you have your USB uh, plug in that's how you charge it up your USB C to charge it up there and then again of course the back part is your clip and you can just take that off now there is also another little light here at the top and also a little uh, a little hook kind of thing that's for that that little hook uh, plastic thing that you can uh, um, attach this to. So now the top light here is the camera status light. If it's blue, then the camera is on. If it's uh, and ready to go. If it's if it's red, that means that the battery in, battery indicator it needs to be charged. Again, these lights do a couple things. Um, when I'll turn it on, I'll show you what they what they are. But there are different lights, an IR uh, infrared night vision. Um, this little button here is a toggle camera status light on off or it's also for the wi-fi pairing because this actually has an app which i'll show you as well this light here is a wi-fi status um, if it's flashing that goes into wi-fi mode if it's uh, steady blue then it's already hooked up charging status this is turns red when you plug it in and charge it now this button here at the bottom is your shutter button for a camera taking pictures um, or your infrared on and off this button here is your regular power button. You turn it on, you just press and hold it for a couple seconds and it turns itself on. Same thing for turning off. But now once it's on, if you press the button, it starts recording and press it again and it turns it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna press and hold this down for a second and it turns on right there is the indicator light. It beeps telling me that it's ready to go. That's ready to go. Now, if I press the button again to hit record, it's going to record the video and you can see that it's flashing so that shows you that you're recording video i'm going to press it again to stop it and, and it vibrates too it's a beep and a vibrate um, this button is the shutter button so i'm going to press it once it beeps and vibrates and it takes a picture now this button here on the side if i press it once like this quickly it gives you the little flashing lights you can see the red and blue flashing lights little emergency thing hit it again to turn it off. Now if I press and hold it down for a couple seconds, that's what turns on the Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna show you here on the side of the screen. And um, once you go, you have to get into your Wi-Fi system and you're gonna hit the, the Z07 and some numbers here. So I'm gonna hit that to connect. Uh, now once it's connected, you're not gonna get internet service on your phone, but once it's connected, you'll see that this turns a solid color, so you're ready to go. Now this here is the app itself. I'm gonna hit this plus button, and it should find the camera and automatically pull it up. So now you can see what the camera sees, which is my other camera looking down at it. <laughs> um, here, I'll push this up here so you can see me. Hey, there you go. So now uh, we have a bunch of things on here. Now um, on the screen itself, on the app, you can see that there's a power button at the top middle. The top left is an exit, your battery indicator, Wi-Fi. Down toward, of course, you got the, the monitor in the middle. And then um, you've got uh, down here at the bottom left, you have the um, camera for, for video. And then you can change it to photo. It automatically changes that. And you can see the difference in there. It goes from one to the other. Now, if I hit this, uh, this icon down here at the bottom right, you'll see it comes up with settings. Now, there's a lot of settings to this thing. So you can change your resolution of your video. Uh, you can see it's a 2K 30 frames per second is what I have it now. But you can also get a 60 frames per second as well with lower um, quality. But you can get a lot of different options there. 
Uh, this uh, cycle of recording. So how many how many minutes does it go in a cycle? It'll just keep recording every like three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, that kind of stuff. Video lapse. This is like a time lapse type of thing, uh, which it'll take a picture every one second, two second, and that kind of stuff. I have that off. Auto record is off. You can turn this on so as soon as you power on the unit, it will start recording automatically if you want to. Um, uh, record audio, yes. Um, the different codecs. This actually has uh, the 2.64 or the or the 265. So uh, point, excuse me, 0.264 or 0.265 options. Um, and then in photo, you can see you can go up to 20 megapixel, which I have it on, or you can go lower. Now the lower the frame rate and the lower the you know the quality, the the more your battery is going to last. Uh, time lapse off. Photo time. Photo lapse off. Uh, burst snap you can you can have it uh, do photos up to like 10 photos at a time quality fine i'm going to keep going here um, you can change your sharpness your white balance your color um, your wdr um, uh, iso exposure metering range anti-shake i have that on there now uh, date stamp auto power frequency uh, format your sd card defaults you could change a lot of stuff on this thing so it's it's quite um, elaborate in how you can do this now I can take I can record from here from the camera itself and it records right onto the SD card then I can check it in the app if I want to or I can um, record from the app you can see this button down here in the middle is record button I can just hit this report record button and it's going to record what I'm doing here so that that is easy and you can turn it off like that or again I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button here it beeps it vibrates it's recording and on the screen you can see the top right hand corner that is recording so it's recording blah 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 I can turn this off here as well so you get a live look at what is going on now to check the the recordings I go to the bottom left hand corner and this pulls up the recordings on the device or local and so let's say I wanted to download okay, that's that's for photo here at the bottom you can see that this is photo if I hit the bottom slider it goes over to video then I can take the video this is the le least latest one I just did I can do that now I have to download it to my phone to play back you can't play it back directly on the device but you, you can download it to your device and then once you're in your photos I can take this and play it so vibrates it's there you recording go. and on the screen you can see the top right hand corner that is recording so it's recording blah 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 so i'm turning this off here there you go so you get an idea um that you can uh pull it right off your phone or i can take the um, sd card out and plug it into the computer so it's very versatile that way now i'm going to go ahead and do and put this on my body and walk around and see what it's like to have this on on a person um, as well as we're going to do some nighttime shots so let's go right into that okay i have this mounted to my shirt right here i don't really have a good easy way to do it because i don't have a pocket or anything so i just kind of clipped it on now it is aiming down so i don't know how well it's going to see uh what's in front of me but we're going to go ahead and give this a try here so i have my little microphone and my camera here i'm going to go ahead and hit the record button on this camera and record okay now we're recording i'm going to go ahead and walk through the house we'll see what this looks like Okay, I'm walking through the house. I'm using the audio from the camera itself. Now, we have a lot of lights on, so this is a lot of lights. And, of course, the house is a little bit of a mess, but that's how things are. This is real life, real life, people. So I'm walking around just to see kind of what it's like to have this camera mounted to my chest. Again, it's kind of aiming down, but that is it there. Okay, that is good to go. Okay, I can't tell if it's on infrared or not at this point. Now, I can't see anything in this room. It's pretty dark, so um, I hope uh, this will pick up something on the camera. We will see how this works for night vision. So there you have it, a detailed look at the A07 body camera. Uh, a couple of things that I noticed, um, when wearing it, it does have quite a bit of shake. I, I had the anti-shake on it, um, but it, it still is not that stability, not like you're used to with the, with the other brands of, of like action cameras. It's not really an action camera, it's more of a body camera. Uh, again, this was just sitting here on my shirt. I don't have it attached to a pocket or anything that's more stable, so that might make a difference there. Uh, and then the night vision, it did work. I wasn't sure if 
it was on, but it automatically turned on, which was pretty cool. And you can see a lot inside. Now, the quality of that is degraded a little bit through night vision because these little sensors and little cameras don't do uh, very well at night anyways, but it still picked up a lot of stuff. You can tell what things are. It, I think it worked pretty good. So if you're looking for a, a nice little body camera like this, this one may be the right one for you.